Aging skin is something we all think about, from wrinkles, dark spots, fine lines, or loss of elasticity. Before we consider Botox or fillers, a skincare routine with the right ingredients is key to your skin health. The first impression of the ordinary skincare products can be confusing, but the results are great. The ordinary names their products off the chemical name of the primary ingredient. They have a wide range of different skincare ingredients, so it's important to understand which products are best suited to your skin concerns so you can maximize your results. In this video, we take a deep dive into the top five ordinary skincare products for aging skin, including when to use each product and what ingredients to avoid using with them. If you're new here, we post skin education and skincare reviews from qualified skin experts on this channel. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. The first ordinary product for aging skin to consider including in your skincare routine is the Grain Active Retinoid 2% in Squalene for beginners or Retinol 0.2% in Squalene for advanced retinol users. Vitamin A in skincare, otherwise known as retinol or retinoid, is a key element to skin health and correcting hyperpigmentation and concerns of skin aging. When you begin to use vitamin A topically on the skin, it works on the stratum corneum first, the top layer of the skin. As our skin ages, our cell turnover slows down, but vitamin A works at speeding up cell turnover and removing any dead skin cells that aren't meant to be there anymore. So it is normal for your skin to go through a phase of being dry and flaky when you begin to use vitamin A. Once it goes through this phase, the skin becomes a lot smoother and softer, and your active ingredients can penetrate deeper into the skin to alive cells. Vitamin A travels down the epidermis and interacts with the melanocytes which create pigment in the skin. When melanocytes are damaged, they can produce excess pigment in the skin giving our skin excess pigmentation or post-inflammatory scarring, which can occur with acne. Vitamin A will work at correcting pigment and balancing the melanocyte so it is functioning normally. Vitamin A also works in the dermis, the deeper layer of the skin. It has the ability to interact with our fibroblasts, which are responsible for creating collagen, elastin, and hyaluronic acid in the skin. Vitamin A will help the fibroblasts function correctly if it is slowing down, and it will also help to create strong collagen in the skin, resulting in healthier, stronger skin. It is one of the ingredients to actually reverse the signs of aging. How to use the ordinary retinol or retinoid. For beginners new to vitamin A, we recommend starting with the Grain Active Retinoid 2% in squalene. And then once your skin has grown tolerant, adjust to higher strengths. The Grain Active Retinoid 2% in squalene is a more gentle form of retinoid compared to the other retinols The Ordinary offers in their skincare range. If you've been using high strength retinol formulas in your routine, you can look at The Ordinary Retinol 0.2% in squalene. This is a stronger form of vitamin A and may cause redness or peeling, so introduce it every third night and work up to every night if need be. Apply in the evening after water-based serums like niacinamide, but before your moisturizer. Retinoids can make the skin more sensitive to UV radiation, so ensure you use sun protection during the day if using vitamin A in your routine. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, avoid vitamin A. What ingredients shouldn't be combined with vitamin A? Vitamin A doesn't get on with vitamin C, direct acids like lactic or glycolic acid, copper peptides and other retinol products. Use vitamin A on alternative nights to any of these other ingredients. The next ordinary skincare product for aging skin is the ascorbic acid 8% and alpha herbutin 2%. Ascorbic acid is also known as vitamin C and this ingredient with alpha albutin together are amazing antioxidants which will shield against free radical damage. Free radicals cause cellular damage to the skin causing our skin to not function properly. Vitamin C and alpha albutin are also tyrosinase inhibitors, which is what allows our melanocytes to release pigment into the skin. So when you're using vitamin C topically on the skin, it not only ensures your skin isn't producing excess pigment, but it's also work at reducing the pigment present. These two ingredients are brightening ingredients, perfect to reduce the signs of hyperpigmentation and dark spots associated with skin aging. 
Moving on into the dermis, the deeper layer of the skin where our fibroblasts are located. Our fibroblasts communicate with collagen and elastin to create firmer skin. Vitamin C alongside vitamin A have the ability to reverse the signs of aging. How to use the Ordinary Ascorbic Acid 8% and the Alpha Arbutin 2%. Use this product in your morning skincare routine, apply after cleansing and before oils and moisturizer. Keep in mind that vitamin C can be stimulating at first, so it's best to introduce the ingredient slowly, just a few times a week and build up to every day if necessary. What ingredients shouldn't be combined with vitamin C? The ordinary vitamin C doesn't get on with their retinols or niacinamide. If you start introducing vitamin C into your routine to help with hyperpigmentation, use it as a part of your morning skincare routine and use vitamin A and niacinamide in the evening routine. The next ingredient is the Ordinary Resveratrol 3% and Furolic Acid 3%, which is a powerful antioxidant skincare product. This combination of antioxidants protects your skin from free radical damage. Free radicals are produced from pollution, UV rays, smoking, diet, and infrared radiation. When there is an imbalance of free radicals in the body, it can cause damage to your cells. This damage has been linked to premature aging, such as wrinkles, lines, and loss of firmness. The Ordinary's resveratrol is 100% derived from Japanese and knotweed. Ferulic acid is found in the wall of plant cells and is a natural, potent, phytochemical antioxidant. This antioxidant skincare product combines a very high concentration of the two most powerful and important antioxidants in skincare. How to use the ordinary resveratrol 3% and furolic acid 3% in your routine. This ordinary serum can be layered with vitamin C to create a powerful antioxidant hit. Apply after cleansing and water-based solutions, but before any oil serums or moisturizers. What ingredients shouldn't be combined with resveratrol 3% and furolic acid 3%? This serum doesn't get on with copper peptides. Let us know in the comments your biggest takeaway so far in this video. The next skincare product from The Ordinary for aging skin is the Buffet. The Ordinary's Buffet Serum is a multi-technology peptide serum to target multiple signs of aging with skin ingredients such as peptides, amino acids, and hyaluronic acid. Peptides are a protein that make up the building blocks of the skin that keep it smooth and firm. As we age, we produce less collagen responsible for keeping our skin plump. Peptides interact with and stimulate our fibroblast cells to create more quality, stronger collagen. This is why peptides are a powerhouse anti-aging ingredient in skincare. The Ordinary Buffet contains Matrixyl 3000, which is a peptide blend formulated to have long-lasting results. It repairs damage to our cells and targets collagen production. Buffet also contains amino acids and hyaluronic acid. Amino acids work to strengthen the skin, maintain hydration levels, and improve resilience of a healthy skin. They also protect skin from free radical damage that can lead to signs of aging. Hyaluronic acid acts like a magnet to draw moisture into the skin, improving the skin's hydration levels. How to use the Ordinary Buffet Serum. The Ordinary Buffet is a water-based texture that can applied in the morning and or evening after cleansing, but before oils and creams. What ingredients shouldn't be combined with Buffet? The Ordinary doesn't recommend layering with direct acids like salicylic acid, lactic acid, or glycolic acid. Vitamin C, resveratrol 3% and fluoric acid and not to be mixed with their niacinamide powder. This is because it can decrease the effectiveness of the peptides. If you are using all these ingredients in your skincare routine, use at different times. As usual, you should always patch test prior to using any new active ingredients. Follow the product and usage directions on the labels. Avoid prolonged sun exposure and apply sunscreen in the morning skincare routine of SPF 30 plus after your moisturizer. Sunscreen sits on the skin to protect your skin from UVB and UVA rays that cause skin cell damage. If you are interested in finding out more about The Ordinary Skincare, then check out our playlist here.